Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and I welcome you to my second video on the property of dominance. I have uploaded one more video on the property of dominance. There I describe the property of dominance in detail, which is the operation research tutorial number 21. The link to that video is given in the video description below. But this video has something special. In this video, we will solve a tough problem with the property of dominance also the problem has more than one optimal solution. So let's start. First let me tell you some basics which you will need to solve the problem. This is called a game. It's called a two person zero sum game because it's played between two persons or two players, person A and person B. Let's say it's a profit and loss type game where the profit or gain for one player is equals to loss for another player. So that the algebraic sum of profit and loss is equal to 0. So each player has some strategies to play. So player A has 3 strategies A1, A2 and A3. And player B also has 3 strategies B1, B2 and B3. Remember the number of strategies for both the players may not same in some questions. Now these individual cell values represents the payoff and the whole matrix is called the payoff matrix. Next is row minima. The minimum value in each row represents the minimum payout for player A if player A follows that strategy, irrespective of whatever the strategy player B chooses. For example, if player A follows the strategy A1, his minimum payoff will be minus 2. The value is minus, that is there is no profit for player A. So player A will not choose the strategy A1. Next is column maxima. The maximum value in each column represents the maximum loss for player B if player B follows that strategy. So player A will try to maximize his minimum gains or minimum profit. That strategy is called the maximum strategy for player A. And player B will try to minimize his maximum losses. That strategy is called the minimax strategy for player B. So our objective is to find out the optimum strategies for both the players which will put them in best possible situation. These were the basics. Let me tell you the property of dominance one by one. First property. If all the elements in ith row is smaller than or equals to corresponding elements in jth row, then player A will never choose that strategy or simply the i strategy is dominated by the j strategy. That means if all the values in one row are equal to or smaller than in all the values in another row, then the first row is dominated by the second row. Logic behind this is that player A will try to maximize his minimum gains. So, the player we will never choose that strategy or that row which has the minimum values. So a row with minimum values will be eliminated. Property number two. If all the elements in rth column is larger than or equal to corresponding element in hth column, then player B will never choose that strategy or simply the rth strategy is dominated by the s strategy. The rule is just opposite for the columns. If all the values in one column if larger than or equal to all the values in another column or more than one columns then the first column is dominated by the second column or more than one columns. The reason behind this is that player B will try to minimize his maximum loss. So player B will not choose that strategy or that column which has the maximum values. It will look for the column which has the minimum values. Property number 3. A pure strategy may be dominated if it is inferior to average of two more other pure strategies. This property I will explain when I will solve the problem. So this was the property of dominance. Let us apply them to solve the problem. So first we will apply the second property. You can see the values in column B3 are larger than or equals to all the values in column B1. So column B3 is eliminated or dominated by the column B1. 
let's check 5 equals to 5 3 is larger than minus 2 and 7 is larger than 3 so column b3 is dominated by column b1 so after eliminating column b3 you will get this game on this game we can't apply any of the properties property 1 or property 2 so we have to apply the third property so singly no row is dominated by another row but the average of row a1 and a2 is dominated by row a3 so you can remove either a1 or a2 since both are dominated by the row a3 so let's remove the a1 first but as you can see if you take the average of 5 and minus 2 that will be 3 divided by 2 that is 1.5 and if you take the average of minus 2 and 4 that is 2 divided by 2 equals to 2 so 1.5 is dominated by 3 and 2 is dominated by 3 so average of a1 and a2 is dominated by the a3 so after removing the a1 you will get this game now we have to find out the row minima and the column maximum value and check whether the game has a saddle point or not if it has a saddle point it can easily be solved by the pure strategy if not you have to apply mixed strategies to solve the problem to find out the row minima value as the name suggests find out the minimum value in each row and write that next to it so in row a2 the minimum value is minus 2 which is written next to it and in row a3 both the values are same take any one value as minimum and write that next to it do this for all the rows and next listen carefully find out the maximum value among all the values in row minima column and cover that maximum value in a square box that value is your actual row minima value and for column maxima as the name suggest find out the maximum value in each column so in column b1 the maximum value is 3 which is written next to it and in column b2 the maximum value is 4 which is written next to it and now listen carefully find out the smallest value among all the values in column maxima row so among 3 and 4 the smallest value is 3 which is enclosed in a circle and this value is your actual column maximum value next step we have to check whether the value in the circle is equals or not the value in the box if both the values are equal then the game has a saddle point we apply the property of dominance to reduce a larger matrix into a smaller 2 into 2 matrix so that we can easily solve them so since the game has a saddle point we can say for figure 1 that is after removing the a1 row for figure 1 since the row minima equals to column maxima the game has a saddle point and the optimal strategy for player A is A3 because the value 3 comes in A3 row and for person B it's B1 because the value 3 comes in B1 column and the value of game is equals to 3 and instead of removing the A1 row if you remove the A2 row you will get this game so let's solve it by applying the row minima and column maxima properties you will get the solution so for figure 2 after removing the a2 row since the row minima equals to column maxima both are 3 the game has a saddle point and the optimal strategy for player a is a3 because the number 3 comes in a3 row and for person b it's b2 because the number 3 comes in b2 column and the value of game is equal to 3 so as you can see the same problem can be solved in two different ways and you will get two different optimal strategies here the optimal strategy is a3 and b1 but here the optimal strategy is a3 and b2 but the value of the game remains same so friends this was my video on how to solve a game theory problem by the property of dominance how was the video let me know in the comments below I will upload more videos on operation research so don't forget you subscribe to my youtube channel so that when I upload my next video you will get an email if you subscribe. I have more than 21 videos already uploaded on operation research you can get all those videos on my channel the link to the channel is given in the video description below.
and please share this video among your friends and family because knowledge is meant to be shared. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Until then, stay connected by subscribing.